okay uh, welcome to my channel in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to create this uh, manufacturing which is uh, basically just uh, using the two and a half D milling uh, from this part this particular part have a uh, many feature but this tutorial is intended for the beginner uh, as you can see here there is a pocket over here and it has a hole a chamfer and also have a bush and this one is a curve profile so we're going to create also the how to create the curved surface using the twin rd and then let's get started to the manufacture before that uh, if you like to uh, download this uh, particular part I will leave it the download link in the comment below and then this one you can click for the manufacturer click there manufacturer and then previously I just created but right now I going to suppress and I create a new setup click the new setup here and then please select the machine uh, I will use the generic 3-axis machine okay and you can select from many different machine available here but I'm going to use the uh, generic Autodesk that provided and then after that I will uh, the setup is a milling and then the work coordinate system is the using the model coordinate system and then the origin is the stock box point and the stock you can choose uh, whether there's a fixed box if you know already the uh, raw material that provided you can fill in here okay the dimension width depth and height and also the position or if you don't know the raw material is provided or maybe you can give the relative box size here and then you will expand the box size if I have a look at the top view in the stock size offset if I put it a zero so they will precisely follow the part here and I'm going to leave this uh, for the zero because I just want to machine in the upper part here and then the stock offset from the top okay so I'm going to leave it one millimeter from the stock offset top okay because I'm going to use the face mill okay and then okay that's it for the for the setup is uh, easy okay and then the first time first thing that I'm going to use is the face okay I click face milling and then the tool and this this material I this material I use the uh, aluminium for the kind of the material so in this case I will use the metric aluminium and then I can filter out sorry I can filter out the to the face okay and then they will filter all the tool available for the face milling okay I will use the 20 millimeter flat okay for my face milling okay and then the stock selection if you click nothing then they will choose the from the preview setup here there's a stock so they will machine all according to the surface and will I will leave it like that and then this is the past direction and the step over okay the step over and also I will not use not changing the many parameter so this is using the default setting from the fusion okay okay so that's the uh, face milling is already finished if you want to see the result you can click the simulate here and then just play okay uh, 
for the simulation to show up the stock you just click the stock put a check on the stock here okay and then this is for the tool pack okay okay I think it's uh, good enough okay the second one I'm going to create uh, another uh, pocket for this here I will use the adaptive clearing and then select the tool okay for the tool uh, I will choose from here and then the operation is a uh, pocket okay I will use the six millimeter flap okay to machine here because previously if you inspect from here to here there will be a gap eight millimeters so my tool is intended to pass through here so I'm choosing the I'm choosing the uh, choosing the 20 uh, sorry 6 millimeter tool okay uh, here operation pocket I'm choosing the 6 millimeter flat here okay and then the geometry I just click this geometry okay and the heights the heights will be the selected contour for the bottom head so leave it like that and then the pass so the pass basically is just uh, for the parameter I should change here is the optimal load I will use the if you hover here the limit uh, optimal load I'm going to use just small maybe 1.5 millimeter okay and then this is the minimum cutting radius for the corner so they will create the radius to get a smooth and then okay for the stock to leave I'm going to uncheck this stock to leave stock to leave is intended to leave a uh, certain design this distance of uh, material certain amount di distance of material to leave for the finishing okay uh, in this case that if you check you will need to do the finishing patch okay okay I will try to use the stock to leave for the axial I will use zero and then for the radial stock to lift I will use 0 0.2 okay and then okay I think it's uh, enough this is the for the linking linking is basically uh, for the link between the tool pad okay I will explain it later okay I just click OK and then they will generate the tool pad here okay and because of I'm using the adaptive clearing for the roughing so I'm going to need the uh, 2d contour that's why I'm checking the using the 2d contour so same tool 6 millimeter and then the contour selection I will choose this one and this one okay uh, okay I think just want to contouring over there no need to change anything so I just click OK so that's the that's the good thing about the fusion because they, they were going to uh, do the rest of the parameter so I will click the setup tool and then I'm going to simulate all the toolpath that I created here Okay, and then just play and you can speed up the simulation here okay yeah okay that's the second uh, process okay this is the second process and then that's the third process okay that's the third process that we leave stock to leave 0 0.2 
Okay. Yeah. Okay. I think it's a uh, is uh, good enough, and we are going to continue to the. We have to use the pocket because previously we just I just show you use the adaptive clearing. Now I'm going to use the pocket for creating the pocket. But prior to creating the pocket, I will create the drilling operation here because there is a hole over there. So I just click the drill operation and then I will choose the tools. Yeah, for the tools, I'm just going to use the drill. Where is the drill hole? Okay. Uh, the diameter is uh, 6. Okay, uh, 6. Um, where is the 6 millimeter drill here? Okay, this one. 6 millimeter drill. Okay, and then for the linking here, okay, uh, drilling, this is the drilling type for the counterboard, chip breaking, deep drilling, or uh, I'm going to use the deep drilling with the full retract, so they will create a packing drill, this is the pack drill depth, and then this is the minimum packing depth. And if there is a dual, they will click uh, use a dual. Okay. Okay. And okay, things all done here. Okay. And then the next one is the pocket. Yeah, just click pocket here. I'm still using the six millimeter flat. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, diameter and then I'll choose this uh, surface here surface here and this surface here and then this is the pocketing parameter so in this uh, pocketing parameter I will use to leave zero stock to leave and then using the multiple depth for the multiple depth I'm going to use the 2 millimeter step down for the roughing and then the finishing step down for 0 0.2 and this one is the step over for the side step over for the tool I will leave it like that and then the tolerance I think using 0 0.05 for the tolerance and then Press OK. This is the step down. Finishing pass. Click. I just click finishing pass one time. Finishing pass with a 0 0.2 left over for the finishing pass. And using leads for all finishing pass. OK. And then repeat no and overlap 0. OK. OK. I think it's uh, all done. And for the safe distance, I will I will adjust the safe distance after I finish this. The I mean the generate for this this uh, calculation. Okay, and then you will see what's the is when you see here there is a potential of uh, this tool will clash with this part here because of the linking here is too long so I'm going to edit that here in the linking safe distance I just create maybe 1.5 for the safe distance okay so as you can see they will shorten up the safe distance so it's not potential to hit this uh, uh, part here okay and let's see what's the result click simulate so maybe before that that uh, all tool pad so you can pick the position here look there's a position there so when we click this uh, position look so it's a safe distance okay
before that if you if you use this uh, three millimeter linking so and I will simulate this okay show point okay look there will be potential to hit the tool right okay so that's why I'm shorten not shorten this uh, linking distance okay 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 and then let's see the result first okay I click the stop and then play for the quicker result just click here to skip the operation to the next step okay skip operation okay uh, okay Sorry, let me repeat the operation. Okay. Yeah, if you want to skip, just skip here and then you just click and then skip. Okay. And then for the next operation is a drilling. So that's going to use the packing. Okay, I will speed up the process for the simulation. Oh, maybe this one we need to. Oh no, it's already already done by the second part of the uh, tool pad here. Okay. Okay. Yeah, uh, let me get inside there. Okay. Okay, so over there. Okay. Yeah. Okay, finish for the all the simulation. And then the last one will be the last two, I mean this chamfer and then this uh surface here for the surface i'm going to do it first okay um, to use that uh, face so i'm going to use this the second 2d but this is the 3d i'm going to use the parallel okay the tool i'm i cannot use the flat tool so i'm going to choose the ball uh end mill tool okay this uh aluminium and then the operation should be contour no not contour uh 3d profile okay and then i'm going to choose a six millimeter ball so the n is the ball okay okay you can see here and then the machining boundary i'm going to pick this one the machining boundary to let the center containment okay is safe center and if you like to create additional offset i will just use additional offset and then <coughs> okay thing. oh yeah for the heights i'm just going to limit the height maybe i choose the selection so that height so the tool won't go uh, beyond that edge and then this is the step over i'm going to use 0 0.2 for the step over and then if you like to create the perpendicular pass so you just click here so they will create a perpendicular press to ensure the the result of the surface finish is good uh, I'm going to check this because it's just small is okay I think yeah I think it's all done okay just click okay okay 
so that's the result of the tool pack okay and then the last one is the chamfer for the chamfer fusion will detect the edge without chamfer so this is come with the chamfer originated but for the machining purpose so we need to suppress this model chamfer so that's why the powerful of the integrated CAD CAM here when you click design and then there is a chamfer here you can slide this and then suppress the chamfer then you go back to the machining and then yeah that's it you just create the chamfer here to the chamfer click the edge here and then for the tool use the spot drill okay for the chamfering 90 degrees stop spot drill uh, because of this chamfer is 45 degrees so i use the 8 millimeter spot okay okay i'm using this one is spot so if you search here there is a uh, where's the chamfer oh here chamfer and eight millimeter okay that one eight millimeter okay and then because you already select and they will do the rest this is the chamfer width i'm using one millimeter one millimeter chamfer this is the chamfer offset from the bottom and then chamfer clearance as you can show at the if there is a to avoid collision you just check this one what 0 0.8 is safe okay and then i just click okay they will generate the chamfer okay thing is all done just click setup number two here and then just click simulate let's see how's the result all of this okay the previous uh, simulation i will speed up i will click next here Okay, so that's the uh, finishing for the wall okay and then this is the drill and then also the uh, pocket so I will click next to speed up the process so that's the previous 3d toolpad that we have created okay I will speed up Okay. So they will use the perpendicular pass. Okay, so that's the chamfer. As you can see here, there's the chamfer doing the tool pack. But if you see, okay, this looks like it's not cut. But when you turn off the model. Okay, they cut properly for the chamfer okay I think uh, if you like to see the info here there is a volume that final stock from the stock and then the final we just remove a starting volume here and then this is the final and we left over a 60% and this is the statistic this is the machining time it's a uh, 10 minutes 70 second and machining distance and number of operation okay and the last one is when you want to create the nc program here okay for the nc program okay this is the number of program and this is the uh, output folder and the machine that you want to select let's see if i going to use the fanuc here okay and this is the properties okay and the operation you can select all the operation or i just want to create for this particular operation setup number two and then just click ok so they will create the nc program here and then right click and then you can post process this uh, particular 
and C program. Okay, override. Okay, yes. Okay, successful, and then view NC code. Okay, this is the NC code that this is the face milling operation. This is the adaptive. Okay, it's a lot of a uh, toolpath here. Okay, okay, until here is the finishing. Okay, I think it's a uh, all of this tutorial done, and then if you have a comment you want to ask something please leave your comment below and then don't, let, don't forget to like and subscribe my channel for the upcoming next uh, regular video that i have to uh, create it for you okay thank you and bye bye